Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Line, please find Advice of Afterbirth. We're on a zero streak because of that freaking keeper run, man. Uh, but this gives us a chance because I reminded myself uh, that you actually don't get to random Eden. Eden is unrandomable, the methodology or reason being that uh, she uses tokens. We have more than enough tokens, <clears throat> pardon me, uh, but can't be random regardless. So let's do some Eden streaking. I find Eden streaking a lot of fun. You get these super overpowered and super just disgustingly horrible runs to start with. GT4J8EXD. We got Lemon Mishap, we got uh, Scorpio. Uh, our base stats are pretty horrible, but uh, our HP is good and honestly our starting items are, are pretty acceptable as well. I mean, Scorpio basically compensates for maybe like one pip of damage on that stat screen. Like the fact that we have a little bit of damage over time uh, doesn't hurt. And Lemon Mishap being able to be used once every two rooms is at least uh, something that can carry us relatively far in the early game. You know, it, we can get more mileage out of it in the early game before enemies get super tanky. Uh, and hey, luck up is good. Some bosses in particular kind of eat shit on... Uh, on Lemon Mishap, so like Dingle in particular, as you saw right there, even though that's not the boss version of Dingle. Uh, the, uh, the reasoning stands to reason, is all I'm trying to say. Infestation 2, and also a teleportation to our deal with the devil that gives us Guppy's Collar, and a nested teleportation to our next deal with the devil, and nine lives! Okay, so we're almost Guppy already as well, and we have Infestation 2. I would say that that is, uh, you know, one of the best you know, two room spells we've had in a while there. It does lower our HP pretty drastically, but we have ten, well, we have nine lives and Guppy's Collar, two Guppy items and Infestation 2, and I would say like a, a a pretty dominant chance of becoming Guppy. Plus we could just get our HP back starting like right now anyway. Uh, this is a good seed. <laughs> it's, it's, it got out of control pretty quickly. I like it. Uh, it's a lot of money. Well, a decent amount of money and then Bomb for a bomb, the bang, the bang, Dickie's always okay. Uh, is this really a dead end? Where the heck are we supposed to go then? It's the first freaking floor. How, how far off could I be? Apparently pretty far off. I was, um... Trying not to use Lemon Mishap just in case we came across our boss soon, but I guess that was kind of unnecessary. Well, these guys will pretty much eat shit against it. If they ever make it down here, which they won't because uh, our spiders are actually doing too much damage. I guess it's a quality problem to have. What am I looking for now? Um, I don't know. Basically, like, anything that isn't a Curse of the Blind soy milk. We're pretty much, I wouldn't say unkillable. It's not fair to say unkillable. Like, that, that could come back to bite me in the ass pretty hard. But, you know, maybe I go to the shop and buy a Spirit Heart. Maybe I don't. But, man, this is looking amazing so far. So, we got Little Horn. Who I believe is probably unaffected by, um, by our, uh, Lemon Mishap, unfortunately. But not unaffected by our poison, certainly not unaffected by our spiders. And we do generate a spider when we kill an enemy uh, with a Scorpio poison damage, so... That's relatively good for us. Come on, there we go. He's dead. We get HP. Uh, we should try to guarantee ourselves a deal with the devil, so as much as I don't want to spend money and I'd, I'd like to maybe have a chance at an arcade on the next floor, uh, I think it's okay to come in here and maybe buy a spirit heart. Yep, okay. No chance at an arcade, but now a much, much better chance at a deal with the devil. We could become Guppy on our second floor and, and pretty much steamroll this, maybe try to make like a Mega Satan run happen through a self-sacrifice room or something, because I want to play a little zanier. I, your complaints have not fallen on deaf ears when people say, hey, Northern Lion, you don't play as zany as I like you to play on the streak. Oh, you want to, you want to get nuts? Let's get nuts! I thought it was pretty nuts to just keep random in the keeper over and over, but, uh... Apparently, the people's insatiable need for blood has no bounds, so uh, we'll be we'll be trying to push the limits even further than usual here. Uh, I don't really care about using Lemon Mishap on this room. It's, it's This is just your standard basement, you know, just your standard, you know, unfinished basement uh, infested with uh, wherever, whatever the origin story of these enemies is. Maybe I don't want to know, considering the whole game maybe takes place in either inside of an abstraction of our house or, like, inside of our mother's... Vagina, maybe? I don't know. Midas Touch, uh, a great item if we get any form of invincibility. You don't need me to talk about that for the uh, 3,000th time, I'm sure. Let me instead talk about Boss Rush for the 3,000th time. No, no, NL, please, no, don't do it. A little money. That's not money, that's just a flipping spider. Um, three cents for a bomb is okay. Probably not going to be able to go to our shop anyway. Well, 
No, yeah, actually, this time we're right. Probably not going to be able to go to our shop because we're out of keys. Little dicey there. Get a nice little spider army, though, and I really like that we're not going to have any combat on this room, so the spiders will probably follow us into the boss room. Or hopefully we can at least generate as many as uh, I lose. Not that time, though. Well, we got three left. Uh, we might have enough money to go to our shop. Make our shop worthwhile. Nice. Thank you for walking in exactly the wrong direction for yourself. I appreciate that. Once Ragman targets you, you're done, man. There's nothing you can do. Those uh, homing shots will hit you. That's all right. We're still getting the, the better end of this deal because of the spiders. And... Mr. Dolly with three non-red hearts is hugely valuable. And there's Guppy's hairball, so we're Guppy now. And uh, we might as well take a theme as well. Why not, right? So, I don't want to go fight Mega Satan right away. If we get a self-sacrifice room that seems uh, sensible, then absolutely, I'm all over it. I mean, being Guppy on the first, uh, well, the second floor is like pretty amazing. Doesn't happen every day. Um, gonna be generating a really ridiculous amount of flies and also spiders. So we're extremely powerful right now. Um, we could place bombs all over just looking for a looking for a black market or something. But I, I don't think that's that relevant. I think what we're looking for is enough HP to basically allow us to play a self-sacrifice room and then win the game. I didn't go to the curse room on that floor. Ah, well, we we basically didn't need to because we became Guppy anyway. But it, it, it maybe couldn't have hurt, you know. Could have been a goat head or something inside of it. I will take this pill. I almost regret it. I wonder if we get spiders if we kill an enemy with uh, a Thame. Because we can uh, kind of... On, on certain bosses, or if, maybe if we get like an IV bag or something, we might be able to hit a moment where like... It makes... Let's try it. Okay, sure. It makes the most sense to just like... IV bag... Use a Thame to generate, uh, to kill some enemies, generate a bunch of spiders, possibly if things go perfectly right, um, get a get a few black hearts out of it as well, or at least a black heart out of it, and then you know we can hit like this this equilibrium basically. But it's not really an equilibrium; it's kind of like a runaway, uh, runaway uh, factory for us to basically just produce HP and spiders. But I might be uh, overthinking it a little bit. It might, it's like a cute strategy that maybe has no purpose in reality or no uh, no basis in reality. That does happen from time to time. Uh, we don't need the ladder, obviously, so we'll buy the card. It's the Hierophant. Uh, honestly, I think we hold the Hierophant just on the off chance that uh, we get a blank card. And then we're completely set for doing a self-sacrifice room. Samson's Chain uh, basically means if we don't... Eh, let's just pop that. If we... Uh want to, we'd never again have to use bombs to crack into a mushroom or a skull. You know, we can crack all the skulls, especially with our ability to fly. So we will check out this secret room. Yeah, I know there's a self-sacrifice room on this floor. Ooh, Mr. Mega's pretty good. Uh, well, the, like, maybe a little bit over the top there, but still. Um... Uh, there is a self-sacrifice room on this floor, but I don't really care about it on this floor. First off, it would make for like an eight minute long video, and we would probably also stand a pretty good chance to just die on the dark room. But we also, it's kind of a moot point because there's no way we're getting enough HP to play that self-sacrifice room, even with the uh, Hierophant card. We gotta wait until a little later. Bad trip. Hurts a little. I found pills. Friends till the end. And 48 hour energy. Imagine how good that would be with blank card. But... That is all for naught. Oh, stay away from me. We lost all of our spiders on this room. But for a good cause. Oh, my God. I really thought we were close enough to make Lemon Mishap work there. But uh, now we just look like an idiot. But if he spawns turrets in, like, the next, you know, zero seconds now, we're going to be set, man. We'd be completely set. Instead, that is not how that went down. Um, all right, so you are... Dead, you died really quickly, actually. And with nine lives, dude, hook me up with some deals with the devil. He did not hook me up with some deals with the devil, but that's okay. Still doing extremely well, eight and a half minutes in. Guppy, high rate of fire, high damage. A potential for, for good HP, or great HP even later, if I can just make a blank card happen. I'm a little surprised we didn't get hit there. You know what? Let's do the, let's do the smart thing. 
kind of like a must-use trick there. If you want to keep your sanity, at least. Ooh, okay. That worked out better than it looked like it was gonna. Friends till the end. Paralysis. But the big uh, haul there was definitely picking up Steven. Our damage stat itself is still relatively poor, so... Anything we get that improves that is, uh, is like a pretty huge positive for us. I don't think there's poop on this room, because I don't think there's spawners on this room. I think that's how they segment it. No keys. Alright. That's fine. I'm not mad, just disappointed. I don't know why I slipped into my Keanu Reeves impression from 10 years ago. Stop! I'm an FBI agent! That, what is that one? I, that was, I'm impressing myself here with uh, vaguely British Keanu Reeves. This is me from Dracula. That, now I'm Australian for some reason. I don't know how this happened. How did I get into this big bloody nutshell? I don't know. That's like Michael Caine is Austin Powers now. I don't know. Where are we going? All right. That was that was a little over the top. We used our hermit card. Yes, a teleport card is valuable. Don't get me wrong. In our current situation, though, should we really shy away from doing boss rush if we if we find an item in there we like? I mean, we are guppy. It seems kind of ungrateful to keep that uh, teleport card. I mean, if I get the chance to do it, I'll do it in a heartbeat, but double key room. You know what? This is zany Northern Lions back. Let's do it. Who cares about the item room? Go to your double key room instead. Give us a fool card. 48 hour energy. Um, and Tammy's head, which we will take over uh, Lemon Mishap. You know what, Lemon Mishap? You did a good job, though. Don't feel bad about that. I'm going to fool card uh, two rooms away. Oh, we don't have a key anymore, right? Okay. Uh, I think Tammy's head is going to be good for us. Good-ish, anyway. Keys? Okay. I mean, if we don't make it to the item room, we don't make it to the item room. We got Tammy's head from our, uh, from our double key room. Costs twice as much as an item room, but it's a pretty great item in and of itself, so I'm not mad about it. Tammy's head mostly is going to be... I mean, unless we get, like, Brimstone or something like that, Tammy's head is probably basically just going to be a way to kickstart our kind of, like, fly economy. It may also work for spiders. I think it also works for spiders. I don't know, though. We're still waiting on, uh, un unless an emergency happens, we're still waiting on uh, blank card before we pop this hero font card. And if it looks like blank card's not showing up, that's okay. We still get the two spirit hearts. We're just waiting on, you know, the, the possibility of be being able to use those. What a, what a terrible dodge there. The possibility of being able to use those two spirit hearts, you know, near infinitely. Or at least infinitely for our purposes in the game. All right. Chub stands no chance. We got 14 Mr. Mega Bombs. We got Tammy's head. We got flies and spiders. He won't even get close enough for me to drop an effective bomb, so. We get HP plus a deal with the devil. The deal with the devil gives us, well, an opportunity to play this guy twice, at least. We had to take Demon Baby out of, uh, out of all these options, I guess, but not a huge fan of either one of them. Ghost Baby versus Demon Baby. But basically, we got Demon Baby from our boss, which is okay. If you look at the, the net economy of that situation, would I rather have Demon Baby or one HP upgrade? I think in this situation, I'd still rather have Demon Baby. It's not a lock. It's not like Brimstone versus, you know, something that's not Brimstone and is thus shittier than Brimstone. Remember, the Golden uh, Heart doesn't really do anything for us, but getting two Spirit Hearts here is very, very nice. Head of the Keeper is good as well. We haven't really been too short on money for, like, the vast majority of this run. Tears Up is really good. I Found Pills is, uh, irrelevant. We'll keep moving on here. I'm liking these green pennies, man. This is, like, a Fallout currency right here. Like, irradiated bottle caps or something. Actually, streamer, the bottle caps in Fallout are not irradiated. That's everything else in the game. Well, okay, well, you know what? Get out your HR Geiger counters, you freaking turbo nerds. We'll, why don't we test it? We're gonna find out. We got Mom's Coin Purse, which, um, you know, some of our pills are good. Some of them have been kind of disappointing. Tears Up is great. Um, but I like it at least because it does contribute towards the Mom Transformation as well. And, you know, if I'm going to give Experimental Treatment uh, more more credit than it deserves because of the fact that it contributes to Spun, I should do the same thing for Mom's Coin Purse. Um, you know, they're both items that have a chance to be great and a chance to be horrible. 
Spawn, mind you, is like 30 times better as far as transformations go. But if you get uh, Nod Leaf or something like that, that mom transformation can, can serve you decently. I wouldn't even say well, but decently. That's how we beat uh, Hush as the Lost, if I, if I remember correctly. Okay, probably stop shooting. Stop resisting! We will definitely crack that. Oh! What do you think? I think Tammy's head gives us... I, I know that I use Tammy's head so often that people have, like, you know, an aversion to it. But I think Tammy's head in a situation like this is... It has more potential for upside. You know, Guppy's head is always going to be three flies. Sometimes Tammy's head is going to be what it is right now. Sometimes Tammy's head is going to be a, a freaking, like, whirlwind of, of brimstone lasers that home in on enemies. Sometimes it's going to be, like, eight knives and they're going to suck, but it's going to look kind of cool. Like, I think Tammy's head has more variance that could be good or bad. We might as well just come in here first, yeah. Do we take old bandage? I, I don't see why we wouldn't. Okay, lump of coal's pretty solid. Um, we still have item room and shop available here. And if we get blank card, this shit is over, man. We are... We're on our way. Especially with nine lives, like... Nothing can really stop us from, uh... Going the distance on the dark room, I think. We can make this. This room, man! It's like my fucking Everest every time. Algae's rune. I think we just pop that in here, probably. We're not short for time, so what do we care? Go for it, man. Could actually use... Oh, you know what? I have Midas Touch, so we should be walking into all of these enemies. Not even using flies to kill them. Why Why use uh, Tammy's head there? That's a very good question. You uh, mind explaining yourself, Brain? Oh, I'm all ears. Well, I'm not actually all ears. I'm at least part brain, as uh, implied by the question, I suppose. Or who the question was directed at, or what the question was directed at. I don't know, okay? Sad Onion is really good. I feel like our rate of fire has not increased that much after picking it up, but uh, on principle is pretty dope. To a hearts is meaningless. The Emperor could be actually pretty meaningful, but... I'm sticking with this hero font card, just on like the off chance we managed to make it work. See, car battery is really good with um with uh Tammy's head. But it's also really good with Guppy's head. It's just kind of like more boring, I think. I hate to do this, but I do think that if we're gonna like have a run that's just like out of control powerful, we need to pay it forward a little bit. Like we've been just destroying this donation machine. And then I'd say, like, oh, I'm gonna stop destroying the donation machine. I just just destroy the donation machine all over again um you know what let's pop the hero font card now because i've donated so much money i wouldn't say i've given up hope that blank card's gonna show up but it's probably not going to show up we can instead save this emperor card and get out of boss rush for free or perhaps even more valuably like teleport all the way through the cathedral if we decide to go that way but we may actually uh go all the way to the dark room if we go to the dark room maybe i'll teleport to the lamb fight I don't know. Our luck stat might be good enough to get us some chests. At this point, uh, the world's pretty much our oyster. Curse of the Blind. Well, that's like an ideal Curse of the Blind room. We get a known quantity of something we uh, we quite like. We're not done yet. There's other enemies. Figure we should crack these. Just in case, tears up again. Yeah, I mean, it's probably like as valuable or more valuable than Sad Onion now is these three tears up pills that we've gotten. Without PhD, that's like a pretty amazing haul. Okay, so Tammy's head is getting pretty disgustingly good as well. Should take that. Laziness, my laziness knows no bounds, but... Uh, it's probably the wrong decision there to go for that. Okay, what do you got? Here. One HP, we can go to our boss trap room. Yeah, I, I think it's worth a shot. You think we'll get a key out of this? I think we got a chance to get a key. There we go, there's one key. So at least we can still go to our shop. We actually could buy a blank card. Which would still be good for us. Uh, Fate's reward is okay. Bob's brain. I'm not, like, too insulted about it. Bob's brain, Curse of the Blind, in our current situation is not that bad. I have seen... Oh... There's that, uh, picture. It's from... <laughs> I'm making myself look like a cool dad right now, but, uh, 
It's from an anime or something, and then they put my face on the anime girl's face, and she's looking at Bob's brain, and the caption is like, it's not like I like you or anything. I get it. I like I like Bob's brain maybe more than I let on sometimes. I think it's actually... I, I, I openly like Bob's brain. It's not like I am, I'm ashamed of it. I'm actually fulfilling the, the stereotype in the picture now, aren't I? I've, I've come full circle. Um, or sometimes not at all. There's a tinted rock back there. But, um... Yeah, I think it's I think it's a good item. Doesn't quite get the respect it deserves. Not useful in all situations, but uh, in some situations, very useful indeed. That you had to do it, didn't you? You couldn't leave well enough alone. Now we got fucking Doctor Fetus. Is this good? I don't know, man. Do our shots home? No, I don't think so. This this scares me a little bit, and I think that's justifiable. You know what really scares me now is Tammy's head. Nah, yeah, good, good damage. Yep, yep, yep. Tammy's head a little scary. That w it turns out that that was a very appropriate reaction to have. Um, well, let's hope we pick up car battery. Or sorry, not car battery. Let's hope we pick up uh, like host hat or something. If we get host hat, our damage output is just going to be like incredible, ridiculous. I think we just go fight our boss. I'm very sorry uh, to our shop here, but we don't have time to get in boss rush and make it back to the shop. Shop could easily have greed. It would give us an opportunity to donate some more money, but... So what do you do, like, in this situation when it comes to, like, you know, having Tammy's head? I think we could use it on boss rush now that we know what's actually coming. If we want to. I mean, it's Curse of the Blind, right? Fucking tractor beam? Is this sweet? No, 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 not as sweet as you thought it was. Am I actually gonna fight Boss Rush? Why did you home in on me? I don't understand. No, this is bad. Yeah, we see you in hell. I have no idea again if Tractor Beam was good or bad. We're gonna play this the same way we play every run with Dr. Fetus, which is, you know, in uh, fucking in awe of the fact that it does. Ridiculous amounts of damage, but also scared for the power that it, you know, contains. Oh, you know what? It's Bob's brain shooting the tears back at me. Just when you think you've seen the limits of Bob's brain's ability to be kind of shitty. I also think it's synergizing weirdly with Tractor Beam, where the they don't actually, the bombs that is, don't actually, like, go directly to Tractor Beam. They're just, like, weighted to move towards it. So if I move, the bombs move, but they have, like, friction and physics and, and, and mass and stuff like that. Whereas tears just kind of, you know, they usually just go wherever they're pointed to. Um, which is why, there's a spirit art back there, but that's why sometimes situations like that happen. Um, you know, they, they, they start to move towards the tractor beam, which maybe moves them towards me. Creates uh, potentially some issues, I think it's fair to say. I think it's fair to say that without Host Hat or, or Pyro, uh, Tammy's head is probably now off limits. Excuse me, where... How did you dodge that? Be real with me. Uh, do we fight Hush? Weirdly enough, I actually feel like this is a great run to fight Hush on. Like... we For all the problems with this run, I think we're pretty, like, anti-Hush. We got a good anti-Hush build here. Do you hush me? Do you hush me? I always thought that's so that's not the song that's in like every um I can fly by the way, I should be moving a little bit more than this. Um that's a song that's in like every movie trailer. I always thought that song went, Do you love me? Do you love me? Do you love me? Do you love do you love me? Do you love me? Now that I'm a man Watch me now, you know? Like that that's how I thought it went. It came on, on the radio the other day because I listened to, you know, 1964.fm and it's I realized the song it blew my mind it actually goes do you love me now that I can dance I'm not saying one has a better message than the other one it's just you know I've been operating under this principle not principle but the expectation that it was you know maybe about a, a, a boy and his childhood sweetheart and then you know she never really was into him because maybe he was too much, you know, he was like a little man-child. And then he became like an actual, you know, a functional adult. 
And then, you know, he's like, do you love me now that I'm a man? And it's like a positive story about personal growth, maybe. Um, but now it's just, do you love me now that I can dance? And I'm like, yo, 1960s America, get your priorities in order. Dancing quality is not uh, an indication of a, of a good partner, necessarily. I mean, I'm not saying it's not nice. I mean, it's, it's irrelevant to me, but I imagine for a lot of people, it's, it's not a, you know... Not zero, you know, if you're really into the salsa or the waltzes and the tangos and the babushkas, then you know, perhaps you're or was it mamushka? It's, what's the one from the Adams Family movie? I was just making a joke. Um, but uh, like that's that song now is a terrible message. Yo, you gotta get over that girl who doesn't like you because you can't dance, man. That's like some I don't even know where to where to go with my analysis on it at this point, but it's very silly is what I'm trying to... It's, uh, she's, she's not a good evaluator of, of, of mate quality if, if she didn't like you because you can't dance. You know, d you should let her go. If you, if you don't like dancing enough to, to have passion for it, you're probably not meant to be, you know? You're gonna have all sorts of dance-related fights when you get older, further into your marriage. Oh, honey, you wanna go out dancing? I'm not really feeling it tonight. Oh, you changed, blah, 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 you know? You're, you're putting on a facade, man. It's never gonna work. Be the change you want to see in the world. I don't know what that's... I, that's just one of those things I feel you can throw in to make your point sound better than it is on a regular basis. Yeah, you hear that, Gandhi? I'm putting your ass on blast. On blast. <laughs> Not even on blast. Just on blast. What's up? Okay, well, um, this run has gone, like, off the rails, man. We are, um... I'm not really feeling like I want to teleport to the dark room anymore. Kind of just want to go to chest and uh, get get my items and then leave. When did I gain the ability to do that voice crack on demand? Yeah, sure, that was intentional. And it, well, I'm not. I wouldn't lie about having a voice. My voice cracks sometimes. You know, it's uh, it's active, man. It's not like going through puberty again. It's more just like you know, you put a lot. Oh, we can fight Mega Satan. You put stress on your voice, it's gonna crack sometimes. It's like a it's like a deck, you know? You gotta get that shit stress tested. Nah, this doesn't really work. Unless you made it with like treated wood and then maybe like you gotta I don't know. Yo, thank you for killing that thing so I didn't have to shoot at it. Are we on we on mom's heart already? This is Utero 2, yeah, this is mom's heart, okay. We should check it just in case it's the Emperor. I could maybe use Oh I'm sorry to do this! No, you know what? Fuck it, we're going zany. Help. Help me. Ah, I can't, I gotta stay in there to get the fucking tractor bombs to work. I can never, just give me a deal with the devil that somehow allows me to use, uh... Allows me to use Tammy's head. No, we did get a deal with the devil. Oh, uh, Jesus Christ, let me out. Ooh. Okay, there we go. I mean, the tractor, it, like, it's the tractor beam pulls them back towards the source or something. Circuit City. Why am I going back here? Because I can't, I can't just take the Emperor card. I'm not fighting Hush, though. That shit is, uh, you know, I know two floors ago I said we got a pretty good Hush or anti-Hush fight. No, that's, that's a lie. And it, there was a time, maybe, when that was true, but it, that that time has long since passed. You got it, you got it, you got it. Just make your way. Why am I using bombs? Because I can't trust, um... I can't trust, uh, my own bo- Oh, we might as well kill this dude. I can't trust my own bombs to make it, you know, to the door properly without blowing me up in the process. So we're, we may skip the occasional room here. I apologize if that annoys you, but uh, it's kind of part of our self-preservation mechanism now. Oh, I love these tractor bombs, man. I at least love that they have a good name. Tractor bomb is a good name for these. Help. Good. This is a dead end. I've never been sadder. Remember when we got Guppy on the first floor? And the second floor, and I was like, oh, this is gonna be the easiest run of all time. I don't know why I put on that accent to say it, but. I hate it. 
let me let me out. Ah! That's substantially worse. All right, you know what? Fuck it. We're fighting enemies now. I'm not really in a rush, but if I was, I'd like to think that I'd be Getty Lee. That's not even like tuning my own horn, you know. You also got Neil Peart. He's a he's a classic. And then you got Alex Lifeson on the guitar. Nothing wrong with that, man. I'm not really in a rush, is what I was gonna say, but I, I do want to not die, and that's <laughs> kind of looking like increasingly difficult. I've noticed. I don't think we're gonna fight Mega Satan. Even holding this get out of jail free card, we're not fighting Mega Satan in all likelihood. Oh, beautiful, the world card. At least it's a second secret room, so we know we're close. Oh, we made it. The damage is not insignificant. Get some spiders. You know, those spiders are gonna do a lot of damage, man. Ah! Under no circumstances do I allow myself to die here. Get in the corner. I can't believe that the, the real tipping point on this run for getting super screwed was the fucking boss rush tractor beam. If that isn't like the most northern lion -y way to fuck up a run, I don't know what is. And by that I mean we picked up, we rushed to boss rush, skipped our shop, in the process picked up a good item with Curse of the Blind that is bad because of our situation and pretty much fucked us. That's like, if you could write the northern lion scenario and put it into the game, that would be it. Good item fucks me. Yeah, you know what? Oh, I take the get out of jail free card the whole way. And then you give me dad's key. On the chair. Yeah, of course we're taking guillotine. You know why? Doesn't matter. We only get hit by ourselves. This is gonna suck. Amazingly, we have lived through that waking nightmare. Holy Christ. We maintain life. One room into the run. Ah! That's like way shitty, man. Okay, well we got HP back. That's alright. Just just stay true to your heart. Like the Stevie Wonder song with uh, 98 Degrees from the Mulan soundtrack. True to your heart. You must stay true to your heart. And then there's... It's gonna be the boo boo boo. I don't remember. That's like 98% right, which is, I think, what they would have wanted. All things, all things considered. Um, sweet dog. Yeah. I mean, these bombs are doing a lot of damage. Like, I can't really, uh, really be mad about that. Two of diamonds is sweet. Oh, this is, uh,. Actually, you know, first I was mad. I was petrified, thinking, how am I gonna live without you by my side? And I spent so many bombs thinking how they sucked my dong, and I grew strong. And I learned how to get along, and now I'm back on the final floor. I don't wanna die down here and then die nine times more, so let's just beat this stupid baby with our very first attempt, and I'll be. I'm a, I, I, that is a tempt. <laughs> that is tempting. I don't know how I'm supposed to make this one work. And then I'll declare myself tax exempt. The, the rhymes for empt are not easy, okay? So we did die. It's a very casual attitude to have about, you know, leaving this mortal coil. But, ah! We, we almost got him. I'm thinking, like, if we find a room that sucks the big one, what if we just, like, drop Tammy's head in, like, a suicide pact, basically? Like, if I can't live on this room, nobody can. No, I, oh my god, we found the boss. We're gonna live. Well, we're probably gonna die as well. We're gonna, we're gonna live in between the two situations somehow. Oh, good stuff, team. Good stuff. Okay, hey, get in here. Blue baby. You, no chance, buddy. No chance. I can do this all day. I can hurt myself all day on this fight. Doesn't bother me at all. Sweet dog, get some get some flipping spiders in there. Those are helpful. Occasionally landing a Bob's brain hit. There's 
little scary. Yo, why are my flies doing nothing? Can we talk about this whole fly situation? There we go, Bob's brain. Nice hit. Nice hit. Very tempted to just press the space bar. It's not the right course of action, though, is it? We all know the truth. Oh, God, I almost got hit there. Just finish it. Yes, we did it. Oh, my Lord. That run ended up being way harder than it had any right to be. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Upset a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.